In this video, I am going to start uh, the topic that is education. And in edu education, there are so many parts. Uh, so, uh, I will also discuss the uh, degree awarding institutions as well as uh, to talk something on uh, technical education. So many students get the degree from a university, from a reputable university and after that he applies to so many jobs but he, did, he or she did not get any job. Why? Why, why like that? Is there any sort of deficiency in our schooling, in our academics? So, if I answer this question, I will say yes. There are lots of problems in our academics, in our institutions, that the degree they are offering is not that much suitable for the, like, uh, I will say that the, uh, uh, the job, uh, the industry uh, that is offering a job and uh, people who are getting a degree from a reputable university, they both have so much difference. Like so many people get a degree of a computer science or a cyber security and, and then they are doing jobs in a, uh, as a software quality assurance or like a software engineer. Like what he studied, he did not get that sort of job in his uh, uh, industry. So I will talk about the uh, importance of a degree and the uh, uh, importance of uh, technical education. The technical education uh, as compared to the degree, both are really good. Like if I say, if someone wants to do a proper degree, so I think he or she must have to do properly with his degree. Uh, if someone is doing uh, computer science or electrical engineering, so he must have to do proper some short courses like uh, so many uh, uh, organizations like Cisco, like Microsoft, like uh, Oracle, like Sun, they are offering so many certification. If some students are willing to do some Java certification or some they are willing to uh, get knowledge of a Java, like a uh, Java programming, if, if someone wants to become a Java specialist, if someone wants to become an Android specialist, like uh, ev uh, everyone wants to be uh, uh, in nowadays, uh, the today is the world of uh, digitalization and modernization and in this uh, era, everyone wants to become a computer techie because without a computer science studies, you cannot do any sort of job. Like uh, if someone wants to do a simple job, uh, he must have a, a uh, knowledge of a uh, Microsoft Office like uh, um, uh, like PowerPoint, Outlook, uh, uh, Excel, uh, even in some sort of jobs, they also having uh, some sort of requirement of a documentation. So he must be having a sound knowledge of a uh, Microsoft uh, Word as well. So uh, these are the key things uh, to get a proper job. Like if someone wants to become a content writer, so I think he must be a specialist in word. And if someone wants to become a marketing manager or something like that, so he must be uh, having a sound knowledge of uh, PowerPoint presentations and like that as well. He must be a good presenter. So these are the things that uh, like uh, if someone wants, if I say something about uh, uh, security, like nowadays everyone is available on internet, uh, on uh, Google, on uh, Gmail, on uh, YouTube, uh, on uh, Facebook, on social medias like Twitter, Instagram, uh, like that. These sort of platforms are for what? These are for communication. So many people think that uh, everyone can uh, easily hack their, the IDs of others, but 
uh, you know, on social media, it's very difficult and it's impossible to hack someone ID. For that, if someone wants to become a specialist of a hacking, if someone wants to become a hacker, so he should study, firstly, he should study the certification of a Microsoft that is certified ethical hacking. So, as I have discussed so many things about the computer science, about the computer studies and uh, relating with the software engineering degrees or the computer science degrees, he must have to follow uh, some short courses as well. Due to that courses, he should learn so many things and, and after uh, getting a degree, if he is having some sort of this uh, certification, international certification, so I think he can get easily uh, a professional job. But if someone is not having a certification, so uh, he can also get a job. But uh, when he uh, goes into into an industry, he is having so many deficiencies in uh, his skills, and that matters really a lot. So uh, due to that deficiencies, most of the uh, 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 technicians or practitioners they can't continue their jobs after that, and also in jobs he must have to update him him or her, herself. Uh, according to the academia and according to the industry and according to the job requirement as well. So these are the main things. Moving towards the uh, nowadays uh, world like everyone wants to buy something on internet like online businesses and e-commerce. So I will say something about the online businesses that uh, I think everyone should start his business from his schooling. Like uh, if someone is studying in school or college, he should start his own website and making a website in nowadays world is very much easy. Like uh, learning uh, HTML, like hypertext transfer uh, protocol, like uh, HTML, uh, hypertext markup language. This language uh, of learning is very easy because there are so many platforms like W3Schools and so many other pr platforms are available on Google. And if someone do not want to learn a language properly, then he can also uh, do that through WordPress tools. Like uh, how the WordPress works, like uh, if someone wants to uh, earlier, uh, so many years ago, uh, if someone wants to uh, become a web engineer and he wants to uh, make a website, so firstly he should do a proper, to make a proper database in Oracle or SQL that is structured query language and after that he should start working on a website on HTML, CSS, JavaScript and also in PHP. Uh, but nowadays if someone is not having a sound knowledge of uh, programming, so he should also start his uh, website through uh, WordPress as well. And through WordPress he can easily uh, get his website uh, and that website will be directly connected with the, his uh, uh, database as well. Because uh, the WordPress is having the facility of a uh, uh, database that is directly connected with the uh, interface of that website. So everyone should uh, start his own website very easily through, uh, through that platform through WordPress and uh, after that he should buy a domain uh, that is his property in, on internet and after that uh, he should publish that website on that concern domain like .com, .org if someone is. But so many websites they are available uh, that, that are on .com so he should select uh, the name of the website uh, like uh, through which name he is starting his own business. So that will be the first step towards his e-commerce business. And that e-commerce business, if someone is willing to start, like if someone is not having any sort of uh, uh, product, so I think he should uh, think about a drop shipping. Like he will not buy any sort of product, but uh, he will just contact a shopkeeper that uh, I will sell your products on my website. And if he is selling his uh, 
products in a proper shop, uh, uh, if the product price on that shop is $10, so he can easily sell that, uh, uh, that product on his website on some margins like uh, $15 or $20 like that. So this process is basically called drop shipping. Like uh, he will not be having any sort of product, but he will be selling the product of the shopkeeper. So these are the things we uh, looked in this video that uh, how to how to make uh, a small e-commerce business, like uh, how to set up a uh, e-commerce business, how to do a drop shipping, and what are the things that are uh, linked with the uh, industry and education and the degrees we are getting is that good and uh, like uh, uh, if someone wants to do a proper job after getting a degree. Uh, so my suggestion to all of you is if someone is having a degree so he must have to do some sort of uh, extra certifications to uh, properly uh, 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 set some skills, skills and after that skills he should do uh, any sort of work in the industry. So uh, thank you so much for watching my videos and I will say to my su subscribers and uh, who are keenly uh, interested in watching my videos. So thank you so much from the depth of my heart and keep visiting, subscribing, liking and commenting on my channel that is Exploring Life is Fun and hopefully I will meet you in the next video as well and inshallah in the next video we will talk on a different topic and that will be on maybe on education, maybe on entertainment and maybe on PSL that is Pakistan Super League as well. So we should talk on different things. So thank you so much for watching and uh, uh, hope, hopefully uh, meet you in the next video.